So I want you to think about the Hickory Bridge here and originally in design how it works and then fabrication in the field is another another deal altogether. Please give me back to that image. Uh, yeah. All right, so it's another deal altogether because as you lift this bridge up, this arch, here's the arch. All right, so maybe I should make it a little bit heavier than that. Um, and we'll do that. There we go. So as you lift the arch up, let's tie into it. If you were to grab it just where this is grabbed here, grab it here, this becomes the back of the structure, right? The back, the strong, the back, like a person's back. And you're lifting it up. This puts this side in tension. Specifically, it puts all the joints. Joint. I guess I can make it smaller now. A little bit smaller than that, where I have it. Let's go to, say that. Let's, yeah, a little better. So it puts the joints in. I saw there's only the two cranes there. And the other one's, the other one's holding up the other side. And so this, as you lift this up, lifting, raising from here, you're pulling this up here. So you're pulling away up in this direction, putting each one of these joints, not as probably either computer program design showing compression in those joints, that it's loaded down as compression. But during application because this bridge has let me just say this this bridge had when they were putting on the second arch not the first one the second one they said they heard uh cracking and then they had to do some reinforcement i don't know i looked at it i can't see the difference in in the um construction of it so i don't know what reinforcement they're talking about but i want you to think about that the cracking they heard and possibly the lifting because you you'd want to lift this with a, hold on guys, let me show you. I think you'd want to lift this with a detail like this. It distributes the load equally, and so here's a hook. Here's a hook here, it comes back to here, and then to the crane. So it's a spreader bar, and it would spread the load equally on this, so you can lift it up without putting this in, into uh, tension when it's a compressive member. And you possibly might even want to consider locking it in each one of those, so it's always uh, it's always um, not taking any tension. So there's the joint. The joint looks like here. So the connection looks like that. But as you lift it, you're putting a rotation or a torque on it because you're lifting, rotating here, lifting up from this end. From this end, creating a. Um, uh, uh, the rotation outwards like this. So let's come all the way through with it. Like that, as you lift this end up, this one will want to rotate down so that your joint, it would have to be able to take that. And so again, you would strong, you could strong back it, use some type of spreader bar system to lift it. But this looks like this is a, like a link, 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 uh, link, um, linked system. It looks like it's just going back to the Equipment. I don't see it. I mean, I look at it, and it looks like it's almost tied here. But then I, I see I'm looking beyond it. So right, let me show you where I'm looking. Oops, great. Um, back to that one. So we have our connections here, times two, spread a bar. In there, not down here, but up there. Okay, it's a connection there at the uh, at the uh, at the at the arm there. This one is the to help it with the redirect, the stability of it. This guy here, the, the blue one. Now there's nothing connecting here, so I'm wondering if they had this thing laid down dr dr with two cranes, put it in position. Mm. Put it in position at the abutments, so put it in position here and here, not, not anchored of course because you're going to lift it up still, and then start lifting it up, and again that would create a tension over here and tension here on all this side, where this system appears to be a compressive system, always designed to be in compression. But 
they maybe they didn't design it for that huge moment when it would be lift lift into place and that would create the huge tension moment on it and there they're closing doing the closure there as you can see with the high man reach the closure and here's the other the other piece of equipment over here to the far right of it so it would be this piece of equipment here another crane um, and then they had to get that together I'm wondering because I'm trying to find you know that, 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 that I'm trying to find that they ran it through multiple programs finite programs uh, computer programs and they said this works this works this works and we can even sell it for three quarters of a million dollars and they, and they did uh, 750,000 we can this is all day long this works I'm like all right cool but did they make a mistake right there that right there with the lifting of it did they count the tension while lifting I don't know I can't find any details on this there's no shop drawings out there there's no that stuff it's, it's, it's DOS you did a good job of getting the bridge number I think or close to a bridge number give me the other name yeah I found that at the same time you found it I found it then I looked at my comments and you I saw you already posted it so I pinned your comment it's named after what the mayor or something like that, um, but no one's gonna know who that is. So we'll just keep 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 it a hickory, dickory dop. So I'm wondering. I mean, okay. And for clarity, the first the, this we're looking at the first one, the single first one. This was not reported as having any issue. It's the second one. And if you go to my Rumble videos, you'll see that the Rumble video number three. Maybe I'll put it up here. I don't know. Um, You'll see that how I, I talk about that overlay, that these two are not meeting at the same same arches. So any stress here is not going to correlate to the same stress on the bottom one, nor the top one. And possibly their anchorage here is, uh, is how they, they, there's cables here and here on each side of the structure. That was designed to keep it from rotating over, from having a turning, uh, overturn moment, overturning. They definitely didn't count on it down here at the base with the way they, uh, they counted that base with the angles in there to act as a compressive moment. I'm ending this video, just wanted to give you something else. I'm, that You know, I haven't quite given up on this, on this one yet. I wish I had more details of the structure. I have found these steel elements in the uh, stock in the uh, in the uh, I want to say stockpile yard in their material yard sitting on a flatbed truck. I have seen a galvanized elements, but I haven't seen the one I really want to see is this one. I haven't seen that one yet. I, I think I've seen it. And it looks like you bolted together, but it's biased because it's the only one that stands out differently um, sitting on the truck on those on those. Uh, with that now that's biased because heck that could be the repair as far as I know but the finished product doesn't show any any uh, um, sistering or scabbing you guys might call it on the outside of these joints so that therein lies the mystery I would like we need to see the original and then see what they're finished and then you can figure out where they dealt with it the cracking that they heard obviously if they said they're going they're working on the repair obviously the cracking was a real thing, and they found it because he wouldn't say we didn't figure it out. They figured it out that it existed, and they needed, and they were result, they were resolving it, and apparently they resolved it. Uh, already had the grand opening. I know people are getting it mixed up with this. Is still it's under warranty, not the same as this was already delivered, and it probably had I don't know what warranty they gave, you know, at least one year workmanship, but the uh, maybe even longer depending on the contract which should be part of public records, but apparently it's not that easy to get to. It's not that public. I went to Hickory's website, uh, the town, and you just go around the circle in that one. Um, okay, so just wanted to show you that, talk to you about the tension on this. The cracking was critical in the second member. I don't know when it happened, when they crack it, where they're tying up the, uh, where they put in tension in the uh, bars, and the uh, cables, rather. Where they put in tension in the cables when you got that secondary that crack on the outer one, which should and I would love to know where. Um, finally, there's one other thing I want to work on. That there's an image um, with the split. And here is right by one of these abutments, like right by here. 
that would be split like this. One member, one timber, if you will, one section, one leg, is split like that. This one is still intact, pretty much at the base. This part is split at the base, at the abutment. And this one is off in the air with this split down it. You know, it makes me wonder, did, you know, also could this have, the cable and could it have buckled? Could it have split? The load's going down, could it have caused a fracture? Um, a fracture in this member over here. So it would look something like, something like this. Let's go all the way up. So this fracture right here. Could this other cause a fracture and help it to rotate? Remember we had some winds. Um, not sure where we're going with that wind deal. How much of this, how much wind loading was tested on it? Uh, okay, here's an image. A uh, different angle. There's the crane, the guy's doing connections. There's the cable, there's that connection there. So you can see it doesn't have it on there at this point. The other connection we see right here. It's just single right now, so I believe it gets bolted and then the other strap section goes in, the other uh, closure goes in. Again, a fracture was, I think was, let's change the size. The fracture was in one of these. I don't know if it was this one or the other side. This is what I'm talking about, the jointed connection. It's an arch. They lift it up, they start breaking these connections. They'd actually help break it a little bit more with the arch design, would help it want to fracture apart even more. Let's get the double, yeah, there's a double. Oh, I'm, I'm thinking of it like it's a pretzel now. It's like a pretzel, more so than a bow tie. I was trying to come up with a new name, I didn't come up with a name for it when I was writing, uh, writing and reply to uh, tears there. I wrote bow tie, then I was like, my brain quickly said, no, it's like, it's like a pretzel. So it looks like it's offset here. It doesn't mean it's offset. Uh, they, you know, they're, they're forward and side of each other. I don't know. This is a rendering. I can't quite figure it out. But the uh, let's see the cable over here. Let's get this one. There's the single, the single one. And as I zoom in, you see the cable up and down. Now someone thought that someone thought it was a saddle. Um, no, I don't think it's a saddle. I think it's two, two, two connect, uh, connections. I already, already thought it was a saddle idea uh, as far as the cable goes. Um, this doesn't have the crane on it, so this would have the cables holding it, doing the support at this point. And there, it, there are the cables here, one, and going down. I'll remove it, and here's two going down, and let's delete them. And we'll look at them. We can't see beyond it. Again, for your, uh, this is not, the, the, the load transfers via the metal plates. This is not a notched system where they lock into each other. The plates do the work. The plates do because there, there are gaps right here, as you can see, and there are gaps um, all throughout at each one of these connections where the plates go, where they use that connection. So right here, Again, there is a gap. See the huge gap uh, right there? So the plate is doing the work here. And however they secure it. I think I showed that in video two or video three. I show they use some type of, you know, manufactured, at the manufacturer. This is all prefab at the factory. I don't think it's done there on the ground. I have a cracked phone. I almost saw a crack that I need to find, but I realized it was a cracked phone again. That's not the first time that's happened now. I dropped it when I was trying to make that video for you, or I made the video for you guys on concrete rebar pullout. I have to edit it still. All right, so part of this overlap, this could be the, this is the member, this is only the bottom one. So this could be the, there's the bolted connection times four, but it's also in line with this. All right, so post hoc, ad hoc. Oh, back to the base. So again, the base is not much to speak of. It's not designed to stop overturning. There's no, there's no tie backs. There's no huge anchor 
here into the system and then the other side of the huge anchorage to this to this two-way side there's no huge anchorage there this is just on that plate that little bit of plate stopped from sliding a little bit while they lock while it locks in transfers the load down into the abutment okay let's look at the other side there Um, almost in line but the fracture if this is on that side of it it's noteworthy you see the see the crease right down there and then there's a piece but that is about where that split uh, presents wait a minute it was the other end it was a bridge it was uh so I can't get more orientation here I can't get it because it looks like they don't have the railing up yet so my orientation is not that great also could have been the other members slamming into it fracturing it um, that might be it for this video on on data stacking data stacking I just keep adding the data stack it and it tells a story I eliminate no data for example the guys crack saying that it cracked they heard cracking second second arch not the first one um, so we count that in there now too they had a repair we don't know what it was we don't know where it was we see a split in the material. I state that it could be the when it went down, it could have created that moment and 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 held on so well they fractured it. Could be a their form of a buckle, a split going down there in the loading. And uh, the, the the problem I'm having with that though is it releases is this load once it uh, did that and its rotation starts. I got to figure out where it is on that one. I'm going to leave that alone for now. It's still data stacking for you guys. Take care. Enjoy this one. We're going to track. We're going to have more data on this one. DOS, see if you can find those plans. Take care. Or anyone else. Take care. Bye. On repairs, etc. Especially that top coupling.